Okay, this is how to import data from an Excel spreadsheet. Here I've got an Excel spreadsheet with schools listed, and it's just a regular XLS format. From Excel, I'm going to choose Save As, choose the format. In this case, I'm going to choose Text Tab Delimited. And so that is going to save this as text tab delimited. It's giving me a warning. Just choose yes, and everything will get exported. So now you've got your data in, it ends with a TXT format. All right, so now we're done with Excel. And now in Magic Base, I'm on the Preferences screen. I'm going to choose General Connections Import. We're not going to choose import from Magic Base 2.6 or anything that says Magic Base in it because we're just exporting from a general program, which is Excel. So we choose import. And now this is going to allow us to choose that file. Right there, primaryschools.txt is the file that we just created. Notice it says show tab separated text. So I'm going to select that and open that. Now before I click on that, I want to show you this field right here. This screen is going to show all of the fields that we are allowed to import into with Magic Base. Address fields, the category one and two fields, emails, the name, the phone fields. Okay, those are the only fields that we can import into Magic Base. But those are the most important data fields that you're going to need. So when you choose open, uh, these fields that we saw over here are listed right here. All right, though, these are the Magic Base fields on this side. Now on this side of the screen are the fields from the Excel spreadsheet. And in between these two is a series of arrows that will allow us to either turn the importing on or off. Currently if the arrow is on there, that means this field is going to get imported. Now right now I've just got the names of the fields listed there. If I click on this button here, this will allow me to scroll through and see the actual data from the Excel spreadsheet. So now I need to line these up using these icons right here. So this obviously is the school name, so I'm going to grab this and slide this up until it's lined up with school name. And this is address line 1, obviously, so I'm going to put that right there. Now, I don't know what address line 2 is, but this field right here is the city and the state. So if I scroll through here, you can see I've got different cities on there. So in this case, city and state are both going to get imported into this field. We don't have a choice because they were saved in Excel as city and state field. That's not a problem. By the way, this is a, a state in Canada, a province in Canada. That's why uh, you may not recognize a state called MS, which is Nova Scotia. Now, we need to line up the email field. So I'm going to take email 1 and line it up right there. Obviously, that is the email field. And now I need to line up the phone field. Scroll down here. Here is phone 1. And I'm going to put this one as phone 2. Now, notice that it automatically turned those fields off. You need to make sure that the arrows are turned on to import those. Now, we've got some other miscellaneous data fields, like these are numbers here, which could be the number of students in here. If you want to save that data, you can put that in the Category 2 field and the Notes field. I'm going to slide this one up to Notes. So these numbers right here are going to get imported into Notes, whatever they are. Maybe the number of students. And let's see. Now I've got another couple of fields here. PR, that would stand for Primary. Now I want to save that as a Category 1 field, which is an unnamed, uh, it's just a miscellaneous field. Now, this obviously is the postal code, so I'm going to find zip and drag that up there until we get the postal code lined up right there. So that's lined up. We've got phone fields lined up. So now I can just scroll through here and make sure that all of these addresses, the cities, the zip codes, the phone fields are all lined up. Okay. And now when I click on import, then they are all going to get imported. It says 304 records are going to get imported. Okay. Now, the only information you're going to get that 
it's that something is happening is is by the little blinking cursor. You're just gonna have to wait for the cursor to finish blinking, and that will tell you that everything has been imported. Okay, now MagicBase has imported 304 new customers. Now if I go to my customers screen, I can just browse through, see all the customers. It looks like the data is all correct in these fields. Okay, you see we've got the address line. Um, numbers are appearing in address too, but that's the way that we imported it. Now you'll notice that I've got these numbers that have been imported into address line two. Now I don't really want those numbers to appear there, but what I can do is on the label button then, there's the number 99 right now. I can just click on this button and turn that off. So I can still have the data as part of the address field if I want it, but it won't actually appear anywhere on the mailing labels or on the envelopes. Here are those category fields. Uh, on this screen they're called list one and list two, but it shows whether it's primary and it, it may show the starting grade right here. And you can see we've got the email address lined up right there. So everything has worked successfully and in just a few moments we had all 300 records imported.